Hey friends. So today we're going to talk about the life cycle. So I wanted to review and teach you guys about the life cycles um, because we're going to have a life cycle project. So life cycle is very, very simple to understand. It's science and it's going to be such a fun project. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys. Let's see here. And here we go. You guys should be able to see my screen. Awesome. So let's start with um, this PowerPoint, okay? So how do animals change as they grow? So basically, life cycle describes and answers this question. How do animals change as they grow, okay? So I want you to think about this, and what do you think? How do they change as they grow? Do they become bigger? Do they get smaller? Do they change shape? What, what happens as they grow? So we're going to talk about this. So there are four stages of growth. There's birth. That's when the animal is born and their life begins. There's growth and change. The animal gets larger and it only takes, and it may take on a new form. So for example, um, like a butterfly, right? A butterfly gets bigger. It starts out as a caterpillar and then it goes into its cocoon. And then when it's born again, it's born into a butterfly, right? So it changes into a new form, okay? Frogs change into new forms. They start as a little tadpole, and then they become a frog. Um, bears, they come out as baby cubs, so they get bigger. They don't change form, they just get bigger, right? They go from a baby cub to a big old bear. Um, same thing with chicken. Chicken comes out, so there's the egg, then the chick pops out, it's real small, put it in your palm, and then it becomes a chicken, a big chicken, right? Does not change form, it just gets bigger. So, like I said, they're born, birth, then there's growth or change, right? They grow bigger or they change to something totally different, like caterpillars, butterfly, tadpoles, frog. And then after growth and change, there's reproduction. So the animal creates new life like itself. So after it grows up, so it's birth, it changes, it gets bigger, then it starts to reproduce. They start to make uh, animals just like themselves, right? And then the death, the animal's life ends. Unfortunately, their life does have to end, but guess what? The cycle keeps on going, right? So there's birth, growth, change, reproduction, death. And it kind of goes in a big circle because guess what? Their babies are going to do that big old circle too. In their babies. In their babies. Same thing, right? So there's two videos on here. I'm going to post this PowerPoint onto, um, oh goodness, what's it called? Onto Class Dojo, and I want you guys to click these videos. This first one, um, it's just to kind of introduce you to like life cycles. Um, and this one just kind of shows you um, the life cycle of a uh, butterfly. And it's so, so cute. I think you guys would like it. It would work. Just a minute. Okay. And there it goes. So it looks like this. You see this action. So this one is about the life cycle of a butterfly. And then the other one um, is of a plant. So you just click on these, watch it. It kind of gives you an understanding of the different life cycles that exist in the world. So what is metamorphosis? That's a big word, okay? But it's metamorphosis, okay? That means a change in body form, okay? So that's when their bodies change. So here's a butterfly, okay? So butterfly eggs, caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly. So it starts here. There's eggs on a leaf. These eggs hatch and they become a caterpillar. Then this caterpillar becomes a chrysalis, or I think a lot of guys like to call it a cocoon, but the, the actual correct word is chrysalis. And then guess what? A beautiful butterfly comes out of this chrysalis. And guess what? Then that butterfly does the same thing. So that's the life cycle, okay? Or metamorphosis. That's how the butterfly's body changed, okay? <laughs> And then it's kind of the frog. You see how their body changed? They went from eggs to tadpole, to a tadpole with legs, to a froglet, to an adult frog, okay? This is their life cycle. This is a frog's life cycle. And also their metamorphosis, how their body changed, okay? So let's go dive deep into this, okay? So here's the frog life cycle. So stage one is the eggs. The female lays eggs in the water, right? Stage two, the tadpole, the eggs hatch into fish like tadpoles. So that when these things here hatch, they become this, a tadpole. Stage three, the tadpole um, changing into an adult frog. The tadpoles sprout legs and the tail begins to shorten. So they're slowly changing, right? And then, um, 
So we skip this. This is them like still changing. And then eventually we get to here, stage four. They're an adult. The tadpole's tail disappears. The females will lay more eggs and then the life cycle continues. So then it just keeps going in a big circle. So in your project, guys, I need to see stuff like this. Like this would be a good visual. So if you do like a chicken, um, you could do like an egg and then you can do the chick and then you can ch make a chick looking older than the adult chicken. So you, your visual so it should look something like this. Um, and your explanation when you're explaining the life cycle, it should look something like this, okay? Um, I would like for you to write a page. So not just this, you need to write more complete sentences, okay? All right, so then this is kind of like similar, but this is a butterfly. So stage one, the female lays eggs on a leaf. Stage two, the caterpillar hatches from the egg. This is also called a larva. Then we have a pupa. The caterpillar forms a hard case around itself called a chrysalis. So then it becomes a chrysalis. And then stage four, the butterfly is an adult. After about a week, a butterfly comes out. It looks much different from the caterpillar and um, from the caterpillar that entered the chrysalis. The female will then continue to lay more eggs and the life cycle will continue. Then this whole circle of life will keep going and going and going. Um, so how do these life cycles compare to other animals, right? How are the life cycles of a butterfly and a frog different? How are they the same? Okay, so how are they same, right? Well, they, they look totally different, right? Butterfly looks nothing like a frog, but guess what they do have in common? Both of their life cycles are them changing physically, right? They, they look nothing like how they started. They don't look anything like a tadpole or they doesn't, it doesn't look like, it's not a caterpillar anymore. It's a butterfly. They change form, right? So do all animals go through this kind of body changes? They become adults. So like, do people go through this? Do dogs go through this? Do cats go through this? Yes. The answer is yes. We all have a life cycle. Everything on this earth has a life cycle. For people, we start off in the womb, right? We're a fetus, and then we're a baby, then we're a toddler, then we're a child, then we're a teenager, and then we're a full-grown adult, then we're a senior, and then unfortunately death. Um, dogs, they come out as puppies. And then after they're puppies, they become um, like a um, young adult dog, I forget how they call them, um, and then a, a full grown adult dog. And then cats is the same thing. We all have a life cycle, right? And it just, it's a cycle that keeps on going. So here's um, a different, um, it's a life cycle, but it's a little different from a butterfly and um, a frog. So this is a bear life cycle right here. Um, so a newborn cub is, um, and a mother bear gives birth to a live cub. The bear feeds on milk from its mother until it can eat food, right? So here's a baby cub, it eats from its mom first. Then it's a young cub right here. The mother watches over her cubs until they are one and a half years old, right? And then it becomes an adult. And adult bears begin to have cubs between two and a half to six years old. One to, one to four cubs can be born at one time, right? So then they start having their cubs and then the cycle keeps on going, right? So baby, then they're a young cub, then they're an adult, and then they do what their parents did and have kids, right? Um, and then here's the chicken. So first the eggs, right? The egg. Chicken eggs develop outside of the mother's body. Adults keep the eggs warm by sitting on them. The warmth helps the chicks to develop. Then young chicks. So baby chicks are called chicks. They, or baby chickens are called chicks. They have fluffy feathers and adults feed the chicks by regurgitating food into their mouth, okay? And then it becomes an adult chicken, but there's two, of course. There's roosters, which are the male chickens. So roosters, male chickens, show they are ready to reproduce by having bright feathers. Most chickens live four to five years. So here's the life cycle of a chicken. Egg, chick, adult. Egg, chick, adult, right? And it just keeps on going. And here's a turtle life cycle. So I'm sure maybe you knew this, maybe you did not, but um, turtles come from eggs. Yes. The turtle eggs develop outside of the mother. They are soft, unlike hard chicken eggs. Some turtles bury as many as 100 eggs in the sand. Um, and then it becomes a young turtle. The baby turtles have special knobs on the ends of their noses to help them break through the eggs. Once hatched, they immediately walk towards the sea, right? So they become a hatchling and they hatch out. And then they become a little bigger, and then they become a subadult, and then they become an adult. And when they're an adult, turtles begin to reproduce when they are about three to eight years old. Most turtles live about 50 years. 
So, and which kinds of animals are the eggs outside of the body, right? There's so many questions about these life cycles, but at the end of the day, every living thing goes through a life cycle, right? Um, we all do. It's all different, but that's the fun part. Your project, you're going to pick your life cycle that you would like to do and um, write a page about it, about describing your life cycle and create some kind of a poster, some kind of a presentation that is a visual, a picture of a life cycle, right? So if I chose the butterfly, I'd draw the little circle and draw um, the, um, the leaf with the eggs, stuff like that, okay? So, all right. So I am going to assign you guys this um, life cycle books. Um, so it's a bunch of books to choose from. You can choose, okay? You can choose what you want to write the life cycle about. So if I'm going to write about a kangaroo life cycle, I'm going to open it. I'm going to read it uh, from the beginning. And I'm going to start taking notes. Okay, so let's see how it goes here. Oh, a lucky baby yesterday. Oh, okay, so it starts out in the the um the pouch. And maybe if you want more of an image, you can keep going. You see, oh, and then it's a tiny Joey. And then it grows bigger. And it tells you here what happens to them, right? And then it gets bigger. And you can read about what happens. And these are stuff you can write down in your paper, right? Pretty easy. Um, and it just keeps talking about the life cycle, right? And if you wanted to see an actual life cycle, you could always go to Google. And you can search Kanga. Oh, kangaroo um, life cycle and if you want to search it up you can find it go to images and look at that it's right there and guess what you can just draw a picture just like this so you have many resources you have google make sure you do it safely with a parent um, and you can find a life cycle and draw that for your poster and then of course the information you can use whatever book you choose and just do Okay, first this, then that, then this, then that, right? So that's really um, it for that. So here's the expectations. Um, so we're beginning our science unit on life cycles of animals and plants. This is a great opportunity for us to create quality presentations to show mastery of our, oh, that's a misspell, speaking. <laughs> speaking, listening, and language common core standards. Um, so here's the requirements. Students must choose an animal or plant and demonstrate its life cycle. I'm gonna send you guys those books, right? Um, students will also need to create a visual aid just as a poster, diorama, trifold board, et cetera, or simply on notebook paper. So you can literally draw it on notebook paper if you can't get a poster. You can do a 3D um, life cycle thing if you wanna get have fun with it, but I'm not, we will be grading your presentation, right? We're gonna do it on Zoom. Um, and I will definitely be grading that piece of paper where you write down all your information. Like that's what we're grading you on. Your project does not have to be fancy um, as long as the information is clear and accurate and meets all expectations. Um, so students must also write a description of each state of their, or I'm sorry, each stage, uh, stage of their, animal, of their plant or animal's life cycle. So you have to be creative. So you're describing each stage, right? So if I'm doing a chick and I'll talk about the egg, what's happening in that egg? And then what happens when they're hatching? What happens when they're an adult, right? So I will describe the animal's life cycle. So um, be creative. The options are limitless. I'm sending you books and you can do research, all of that. So here's the criteria that I'm grading you on. So your information, these are the things you need to be um, aware of. So information is presented orally with a clear and understandable voice. The presentation demonstrates mastery of the standard. The visual aid is referred to during the presentation and enhances the presentation. So when you're presenting your information, are you showing us your poster and talking about it? Are you not? If you're not, then you can lose some points, okay? Written information shows mastery of the standard. The students use this card. So I'm looking for spelling. I'm looking for capitalization. Are you using your periods? That's also a part of your grade, okay? Um, and are you showing me that you know what a life cycle is? Are, you sh are, are your words explaining that? Okay, I'm waiting to see if you know what you're talking about, okay? And how you're writing. And lastly, the student is knowledgeable and able to answer questions about the life cycle of the chosen plant or animal. So I will ask you questions when you're presenting. I might ask, or the kids, your classmates might ask you questions about it. 
And if you're able to answer that, tell me, you know, your stuff really well. You really looked into this. You really studied your life cycle. If you can't answer it, then you will lose some points, you know? So these are the things you must do. Okay. Write a page at least explaining a life cycle, create a visual aid of the chosen life cycles. So you're going to draw your picture, a poster, you can do it on notebook paper, whatever. And then you're going to present the project in Zoom, okay? And you are you going to be able to answer questions about your life cycle, okay? These are the things that you are expected to do. And I have a Spanish version here for your parents um, if they need it, okay? Um, and here are the books that I'm going to assign you. I have a lot of options. Um, this is really exciting to me. And I really, I can't wait to, I'm going to go ahead and assign it to you guys. And there it goes. Stop. There we go. So I'm going to share, I shared the books and I'm going to share this file with you guys and this file with you guys. You do not have to start it yet. If you're not done with your social studies project, that's fine. I'm just going to throw this project out there just so if some of you guys like to get ahead, um, you can get ahead. So if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. This is due May, um, let me see what I said, May 20th. So you have plenty of time. That's why I'm giving this to you early in case you want to start early or whatever. Um, make sure you turn it into me on um, May 20th, okay? Um, and we'll present it, um, we're presenting it May 20th, okay? We're presenting May 20th, it's due May 20th, so you have to have it done May 20th, because we're presenting it live on May 20th, okay? I can't wait to see what you guys have, and I'm super excited. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message on Class Dojo. Good luck, guys.